it's interesting how they build houses here. Because uh, like this apartment, uh, this, this apartment building seems like it's like fully built, except some parts. And uh, for example, right here, So the impression is that when you buy an apartment, it's up to you to <laughs> finish building it. <laughs> the, the most popular car in, in Albania, Mercedes, and our Skoda. Yeah. Uh, for breakfast, one hour thirty, you know. Yeah, but you are good. Yeah, okay, okay. So, one burek with feta and one burek with spinach. One cheese, one. One cheese, one spinach. Yeah. Okay. Fermented. Thing like a like a breakfast restaurant here it doesn't exist. But it seems like we found really nice bakery, so we're getting lots of burek, of spinach, of feta. They're getting pizzas, so some Albanian, some Italian food. <laughs> Albanian burek. Mm. Really good. Fresh, just from the microwave. Mm. <laughs> and some Albanian espresso. Mm. Good stuff. So we have just arrived at the bay called The Heart, well actually The Heart Rock and uh, the reasons are obviously because of how it looks like, it's shaped as a heart, well from, the <laughs> from, from a drone you, should, you, should, you can see it better, but um, it's really beautiful out here and I guess in summer this is a, just a perfect bay for just sitting on a, on a actually rocky beach and uh, just enjoying the sun, getting the beautiful tan and enjoying the Adriatic Sea. Yeah, talk about the sea, I wonder how is the water. The outside we have outside we have 18 degrees Celsius, so it's it's quite warm. You can see I'm with a t-shirt. And um, and uh, so I mean even if it's cold, it looks so tempting to, to try to try swimming in, in, in the water after long winter that we had in, in Netherlands. So yeah, we'll just walk around. Today is just chilling, you know. Uh, again, national parks, just enjoying the coast. Driving by the coast is awesome as well. So yeah, we'll just enjoy our time here and uh, walk around. Let's see how the water is. Whoa! Oh, come on, man. No, but water is super chill. Chill in a way of like, easy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the water is so fresh. <laughs> the water is really nice. Let's go. Swimming. No. Let's go swimming. I love it, I will. Today, I promise I will be in water, 100%. <laughs> Yeah. 
Is it your lock? <laughs> well, that's the way to open a gate. Wait a minute, there it is. We're now looking for a way to get into one of to, to one of the islands. So this seems like a, a bit of a too much of a distance to swim, but we will find a way. <laughs> Where is the will? There is a way. One of the ways is to rent a taxi. And uh, but the thing is that it's not now it's not a season, so everything is closed. Nothing is working. Where do you see? That island is way closer, so we will find one and we will have some swimming. You know what? Let's just dive into swimming. <laughs> Switch to GoPro and let's go. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I was very confident about swimming there. But uh, now just walking. It feels already <laughs> so cold. Uh, yeah, but we tried winter swimming, so this shouldn't be too much of a stress. But anyway, nobody's joining me. Okay. All right, let's go. Nothing to wait. As you can see, like this is like the fake beach, and this is half real. Isn't we have stone here? Clearly, because everywhere around you have cliffs, so it makes sense. Anyway, let's go. Enough talking. All right, let's go. The cool part is that, you know, it's cold. You know, you're exciting, you're measuring the sense, all good. But the thing is, we have the stream going like that. So I was actually swimming towards that way without even realizing it. Yeah, but that's okay. So now, my plan is to start swimming here. So as I go straight, the, the water will also push me towards them. I need to make it more complicated than it already is. But that's fun. <laughs> Okay, let's go before somebody came here. Guess what happened? <laughs> Everyone is now going to swim. Yeah, you see? It's addicting. Ad ad addictive. Yeah, so what I was saying is that look, <laughs> all of a sudden everybody left. And the reason is that, you know, uh, seeing someone enjoying life, enjoying the fact that, you know, you can do things that seem a bit crazy sometimes and uh, that you are afraid because you know it's, it's getting out of your comfort zone is a rewarding feeling when it goes well and for other people to see that moment when you enjoy being out of your comfort zone is actually exciting so therefore everybody left to get their swimming suits and uh, yeah they will take this opportunity to swim at the Adriatic Sea but what I wanted to say at this moment is this is one of the reasons why i am documenting this is that because we're going to the country that is well albania right uh no not many people know about the country in the first place not many people are afraid of going here because of the history of crimes 
and uh, well, I say poor conditions in the country, and it's it's, it's the one of the worst economic economic countries in Europe, right? So not really uh, a comfort zone uh, country, if I can put it that way, you know. But going here is actually nice because you experience new stuff, you learn new stuff, and uh, you make great memories, you know, such as this. So that's why I'm documenting everything. That's why we are here and that's why we're doing what we're doing. So I hope you enjoy what you see and we're gonna enjoy our time here for a few more minutes and then we will keep following the coastline till the Butrin National Park. Step number one, the side. Step number two, there. Now they are on the step number two. <laughs> step number three, do it. So how does it feel to the bear? <laughs> Not at all. Let's go. Was it worth it? Yes, my friends and my subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> We have just entered the national park, a Butrin National Park, and behind me you can see uh, basically a summary <laughs> of what we're gonna find today in this park. Uh, all the things that we see here are, are fragments of the Mediterranean world history. So what this has to offer is a proof of a civilization that lived here since 8th century before Christ. This is a heritage of an old cities that uh, retain a unique testimony of uh, Hellenistic, Roman, Byzantine and even Ottoman cultures and civilizations.
uh, towards the first and second century uh, this place was used to build even more houses roman style houses with a nice uh, decorations roman style uh, paintings on the wall and uh, fountains so it was really a prestige place to live and, and many important figures of the current times live here however the water levels started rising and uh, just simply naturally the water started rising in this in this territory and therefore people had to abandon this area so about fifth and sixth century people it, it was not inhabited at all therefore yeah, i'm looking <laughs> for, 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 for my group while i'm talking to you guys but the thing is that many people had to abandon this place and and once it was abandoned obviously nobody lived here and nobody would even come here however later on f uh, fishers found this place as a, as, a, as a good place to get catch some fish since this is also an area where where the river enters uh, the sea that means that there is lots of um well i guess nutritious uh, or like many particles that or, or food that that uh, that fish need just right here in the in the in, air, in the area because you know with the river lots of things come come to the stream so yeah so it was a really good and strategic point for fishermen so this is one of those places where as i was telling that they had a nice mosaic floor and, and paintings and decorations so this was archaeologists believed that this would be an area used for religion purposes and uh, not 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 exactly sure uh, what people would attend this place but it seems that this is where bishops would uh, uh, meet the people who will have to experience the religious rebirth and uh, you know would, would be baptized here and so on It's, you know, some of the remains and heritage is hard to identify and uh, because it's just not clear what exactly that is. But this one right here is the Great Basilica. So the, the articles say that, as I was talking about the place where people would, would, would have been baptized, um, they would those places would have you know nice decorations mosaic on the floor and so on this whole basilica would have that as well so it's not only possible to imagine but it's it's it, it's really massive and you can see it has those three isles right here that are separated with this column corridor almost and uh, it's really unique and it's, even though obviously it was uh, rebuilt through many centuries, and uh, but it still has its original shape. So that's what's what's cool about this this whole national park is that that many uh, that, that some of of its heritage is left in almost original condition or at least shape. So here, basically, this is how it used to look like excluding the decorations and the roof so the roof was most likely made of wood and this is one of the reasons why we don't see it here anymore yeah, and, and also uh, as, I, as I stated before because of the water uh, rising and basically the whole seabed rising uh, this national park goes almost uphill or, cl or more uh, north into the country uh, because here simply we're just above the water and this is also where this basilica is built and that basilica was built in five in fifth century so right that that again uh, matches the fact that you know even in the in the beginning of the of the park people were no longer living they moved more to the north and this is where we also find now 
lots of historical heritage. really calm here and uh, lots of things to see obviously I'm not able to you know describe every single <laughs> part of this uh, national park uh, but since I'm left here on my own I can just say that uh, this was uh, well we had to pay like almost a thousand like so a bit less than 10 euros uh, to visit this place and we were questioning you know is it really worth it I mean we are seeing you know old heritage and uh, historical things every single day on, on, on a trip and is there really that much of value? Let me tell you something. There is. Um, every little bit of history is always interesting. It's you know different shape, different design, different style. And uh, even though some things you have some similar things you've seen before, you know it's always interesting to see how how um, civilizations evolved and how they changed throughout years. And when you are able to come here and visit. This, for example, national park, you know, and you can see there is a, you know, uh, a huge wall all around it, you know, it was fortified and, um, you know, well protected. You know, you learn those things and it's just, you know, it, it, I think it's very valuable and it's, you, you kind of become it, you, you kind of feel that you are part of it, you know. So it's always interesting to, um, to be able to touch it, you know, to connect to it and just to learn to it and, you know, at the, end, at the end of the day, not every day you are in Albania and you have a chance to visit National Park. So, you know, why not do it? Why not, you know, save on a couple of beers, which is always painful, <laughs> and just go to the National Park. Here we are at the very top of the Budrin National Park at the fort or the, uh, actually castle a tower that's right here so yeah marks <laughs> actually the first destination of the day and um, we still have things to, to, to see so stay tuned for more we're gonna go to a uh, what is it called geological uh, bath I think uh, I think a thermological bath <laughs> thermological bath <laughs> something like that it's a cool place and uh, now museum is actually closed but uh, while we were taking pictures a security person came here and he was like hey you want to see a museum well, for sure we want to see a museum so here we are museum of butrent so among many many detailed well artwork and now historical heritage here is this one can you imagine? This is a infant burial found in place in palace early sixth century. Whoa. This is a bit strange. Uh, so as we are in this museum, uh, obviously, you see also a lot of proof that life was actually happening here. But one of the reasons that we learn right away is that, and also a conclusion for this national park and the location, geographical location for it, is that uh, 
this is actually on top of a hill and there are more hills around it obviously as you saw the landscape you know many 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 hills and one of the main things that we learn is that 1200 years before christ uh, tribes already lived here and the reason why they chose such a location is because they felt insecure there lots of fight for the land for people for goods uh, was happening here so to be able to see those remains you know in, in such good condition that reminds of a history 1200 years before christ well it's just a, again you know it's 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 a it's it's a exceptionally great opportunity because such a unesco heritage is not everywhere so yeah we are proud to be here that's why we spend so much time in every location that we go even though we plan to be quick sometimes it happens that you spend a bit more time and sometimes you're lucky and a god opens the door for you the museum and then you're on your own again a private tour <laughs> no, traveling off season is really cool all right so now thermological bath that was the word that i wanted to say so we're gonna go to thermological baths uh, right after this museum and uh, we might even gonna swim again depends on whether we're gonna we are able to arrive before the sunset and the question is are they really gonna be warm because that's how they're supposed to be right from multiple baths supposed to be warm question let's let's figure out the answer <laughs> That's where the th thermal baths were supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this will work. Nope. No. No, no. I think it's cold water anyway. It doesn't look so nice anyway. But it would have been nice to just dive into it and enjoy it, but sometimes it happens. Even though it said it's open 24 7. Maybe we can go like uh, because we we seen that this way is too national. No, no. yes, yeah, seriously, good. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I will check navigation again. We were super close, we just didn't take the right turn. But we are here, so let's check it out now. Yeah, but leave it. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And now, fast walk, walk by. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. You. Okay. And this? <laughs> My sticker? No, no. No? No. Not included? Uh, uh, not the zone of this. Okay. For Girocasta. Okay. Uh, Girocasta, it's um, drink right here. Ah, ah, Rocky. Rocky. Yeah, we know Rocky. So 
So here we are at our new beautiful Airbnb. 60 euros and you get all you need. Air conditioning, clean, clean bathroom, breakfast included. Oh. Okay, and uh, you'll see the photo. Okay. 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 What is it? Just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> For uh, name the fruit. Name the fruit. Yes. Mm. And so uh, the prepared for my mom. Your mom? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Uh, mm. Is this peach? Ah, not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really sweet. Mm. Has a nut a inside. Plum, not a, not and, a peach. Uh, plum. Plum. Plumber. <laughs> and the inside is uh, nut. Nut. Or ah, get? this one. Yeah, the name of the guest house is mm -hmm. Teara mm -hmm. because. Uh, Mm. Very nice. The best we've been to so far. The name for the tree. Oh. Tiara. Yeah. Mm. Very nice tree. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, dogs are running away. Chuska, salt, kosi, sour, cream, potatoes. So read this. Uh, <laughs> Fries, <laughs> burek. Burek, good. Uh, spinach. Uh, spinach. Spinach. Okay. Said, okay. Do you have me? Sit down. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> That's how we do it. Traditional Albanian. Chivchi, chofte, burek, spinach, pizza, me, or it's. Okay. Everything. 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 Pizza, or it's. Two. Two. You. Two, okay. Two. two. Your friends, two. No, no. Look, two. Mm -hmm. Four. Four. The chief chief. Two burek. Mm -hmm. Two burek. You can, you can bring it. Now I'm the <laughs> waiter. <clears throat> this looks so fresh, so nice. And uh, this one. 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 Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Some. <clears throat> Here we are. The original restaurant that we wanted to go is closed, so we came to a very spontaneous place. They just opened, and they were oh, completely sorry. not ready. As you saw, the menu was just on, this, on a piece of paper. <laughs> but that didn't stop us. Now we have a full table of food. <laughs> I just went in, ordered everything they had. <laughs> just pointed, uh, fingered, you know, two of these, four of this. Salad, yogurt, <laughs> everything. But uh, yeah, the, the, the nice story is that there is a, as you saw, an old woman cooking, and uh, I ordered two of bureks. Remember, we had this in the morning, burek with spinach, and she said three. It has to be three. So. <laughs> Yeah, so I thought, okay, three it is. And then she told him, 
we will only pay for two, but she's getting three. And he was not happy about it, but she said, listen, it's three. <laughs> well, so we got three of them. And um, yeah, so to sum it all up, the day was absolutely amazing. Even though the blue eye was closed. Uh, I think we're doing quite well on this trip. We're having great, delicious, homemade food. And um, yeah, everything is going great so far. And I hope it's going to keep uh, going like that. Um, anyone has any points to point out about this day? <laughs> Good day. <laughs> so yeah, everyone is hungry. We're having our dinner. And this is the end of our day. So uh, thanks for watching all the way till the end. Uh, consider subscribing if you like uh, the disc type of uh, videos. You know, I always do lots of traveling by bike. So yeah, we'll always find something to come up with. So thank you for thank you for being here, and guys, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> is it Raki? Raki. Raki. One one Raki. Okay. How do you say church? Church. In uh, Albanian. Gazua. Uh, Gazua. 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 Gazua.